Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to my, well, what I'm going to really call my first Let's Play, because, because, even though I did You Know Jack as sort of a Let's Play, uh, this is the going to be the first one that I do on a real gaming console, besides the PC, uh, on the GameCube to be exact, so, you know, let's go and get started. Alright. Yeah, this is my second attempt on this, which is great because the last video was like 30 minutes. Uh, I did like 30 minutes of recording and then my computer, and then the file corrupted. The video file, which I was like, which really, 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 really pissed me off. So, yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to start on this file here called Atticus. Uh, I had originally, I made this in the last attempt and... Uh, yeah, I got through a nine just to cut it off, and yeah, it didn't really work out. So, um, the first time, I mean, the first, you know, at first I actually explained all of these, but I will actually do that later because I kind of just wanted to get to the game at this point, and I felt like I was kind of pointlessly informing everybody, or pointlessly informing of the game modes which we won't even be messing with until like the very end so we'll, I'll probably will save it for the very end or something who knows so so yeah I decided to play as El Suave this time because I usually play as Ice Tray but I'm gonna change it up a little bit and play as El Suave uh, the d-pad you press up or down and you can change the uniforms I mean it, there's only four different uniforms so there's nothing really new there's nothing great about it so I will play for your honor. okay and we're gonna, and you know, you got a few courses here, um, in the pot, in the outlaw range, which you can upgrade your attributes and all that stuff, um, which we won't mess with for a while. We probably will do all these courses first, and then we'll actually do this, or, or something like that, something to that effect. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as you can see in the description, the model, the loft, that was what it was, the loft, um, the spin and the distance. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, for the putter, it's accuracy, but anyway. Yeah, the loft spin and the distance is poor. You want to start off with the Fat Adna because the little club is actually much, much poor. The distance is the worst. Uh, the spin is actually higher, but it's not really worth having. You, I just, just keep it simple right now. And you got the Mavericks to start off with, and... As this game progresses, we will, we probably will change clubs. I'm thinking about actually doing something a little bit different with that, but I'll figure that out when it comes time. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, and there's the controls for the swing. Uh, you start by pressing down on the joystick, and then you go up as you get to the full swing. And you can do the same thing with the uh, the C stick when you're swinging. And you can press the uh, the B button to cancel the swing if you don't want to do it Hello, and for whatever reason, and then Z to help, the like with the controls and stuff. Yeah. Some of the controls, not all of them, but some of them. I think it's the aiming mode that you get the help for, or something like that. I can't remember. Is the only golfer ever known to be able to pose before, during, and after a golf swing? Carrying the clubs for this Latin lover of himself is the ultimate round noser, golf shoe licking toady, El Ramon. The players are ready to tee it up, so let's get this round kicking. Here we are at the first. Yo, 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 welcome to hole number one. I right, check it out. When you tee off, don't even think about clearing that bridge up ahead, because you ain't going to do it. Just thread the needle and keep it straight. 367 yards, par four. Word. Okay, and sorry about that. Um, I just I did I did kind of talk to the intro of um, El Suave. Yeah, El Suave's intro, and uh, that's what I'm gonna try to do is not talk during the intros and the when the when the commentator says anything, cause uh, I am pretty aware that. That can get really annoying really fast. So, and I kind of, I kind of sliced it just a little bit, but oh well. Um, yeah. yeah. 
Yes, indeedy, Rudy. That's gonna make you feel good about your golf game. Okay, and um, <coughs> so there's about three thousand things to talk about in this game. Uh, <coughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, you actually get to see the swing mode when you're in the middle of the swing like this. It's B to cancel as always, and then you can press Z for the aiming mode, and it tells you all the controls and everything like that, uh, which is actually very, very helpful, because, yeah, there's a lot to, uh, there's a lot in this game that you have to learn, I mean, um, <coughs> it's actually kind of discouraging in a way, but, um, if you really take the time to learn this game, and, I mean, if you're like a golfing guy like I am, uh, I mean, I don't play golf that often, honestly, but as video games, I love them. Uh, I love golf games, so... Um, yeah, if you really take the time to, you know, get good at it and all that stuff... Um, yeah, this this game could be pretty fun, actually. Uh, yes, sir, Bob, this golf is heading in the right direction. My arm goes up, and you applaud. That's right. <laughs> yeah, uh, and there's a lot of, uh, yeah, there's a lot of c talking in itself in this game. So, like I said, I'm going to try and be quiet. We're here at the second. Like, for the interest, like, for these, uh, oh for these holes. Oh, my goodness. This hole is 329 yards long. No wonder it's a par four. <gasps> and, ew, look at that dog leg to the right. Why do they call it a dog leg, anyway? Dogs don't play golf. Yeah, if you can figure that out, that was Summer, and she's an idiot. Uh, I don't even I don't even understand the logic of blonde sometimes, particularly that one. But yeah. In someone's golf game's taking a turn for the better. Second shot. Press L and R two. Put the spin back to the, back to the middle, and it'll put your aim back in the middle too. So that's something very. That's a very helpful tip. And I screwed that up, so I'm gonna try that again. There we go. Yeah, and you can see how helpful that backspin was actually. Is that because in most cases that ball would just take off like a bat out of hell. Way to go. There's hope for some good golf yet. And these pers and the the putting is the putting's probably the weirdest That'll part of the game. It's actually probably the putting. most challenging so because be uh it's a it's kind of a putting. unique system from at least from what I know of putting systems. Uh and I'll actually I'll actually show it off in the next hole. Uh the putting system and how everything works and everything. Here we are so. at the third. This may only be a 201 yard par three, but you've got a bloody ocean on your left. Now unless you're Moses and can part it, stay to the right. If you can't, ask one of those buggers standing around the green to make themselves useful and fish it out for you. Okay, um, part three, of course, um, yeah, I'll, and that's something, um, that this game, that's one of the things that can make this game really annoying is that the greens are, like, concrete. Like, if you, like you say, let's say you use just, like, regular spit, like, you, let's just say you didn't use spin or anything like that, 
you just kind of let the ball do its thing. It would bounce on the green and it would fly like eight miles. And like, see what? It, see, that's kind of what it's doing right now. It's just flying. You know, it's just rolling really far. Uh, yeah. So this game can be kind of annoying with its greens. Okay. And yeah, you can see. Uh, yeah, we got a pretty long putt here, so we're actually gonna. Uh, look at everything on the, that's to be considered uh, the percentage is actually uh, what represents the number below that so that would be 30 percent of 60 feet so basically that's about about not exactly but about 20 feet if not a little bit longer uh, yeah so yeah and then that would be 42 percent of 90 feet and you know 100 percent of 120 feet so yeah that's your that's the furthest you can go is 120 feet. So yeah, and uh, on the bottom right below the PT, which stands for putter, uh, you got three circles there, and that tells you, and that's basically your uh, your tries as far as previewing the line. Uh, and I think it's really good that you actually kind of you kind of read the grain a little bit, and then adjust and then adjust a little bit, and before you do your uh, first line, that way you can adjust a little bit further and actually have uh, one more left over if you need to really really make sure you get it right you know so this is gonna be about 36 uh, percent and um, that's also what's kind of challenging is that um, if you hit it exactly at 36 feet it actually would come up short or you know so you actually have to hit it a little bit harder than you than 36 percent like in that case I hit it about 40 40 percent you know uh, We're at the okay. four. as we look over this 370 yard par 4 I can't help but think of food I'd like to tell you about my recipe for chili relleno get into your car drive to a Mexican restaurant order chili relleno from the waiter he will bring it to you that is my recipe for chili relleno El Suave is ready to tee off on the ball. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, that put the putting system is really uh, there's a lot to explain it in it, but uh, and I kind of sliced that I think I can't remember, but but once you get once you get used to it and everything, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it, and in fact, it becomes probably the easiest. Um, to pull off in this game, I think. Well, no, I probably, I think hard, I think actually still the putting would be the hardest. <clears throat> but you, but once you get pretty good at it, you will actually be able to make really, really long putts if you know, with the accurate, with the most accurate putter and all that stuff. Yeah, that was a terrible shot. Oh, that's too bad. Say adios, Monsieur Zone. <laughs> Yeah, if you hit a bad shot, you'll always, no matter where you're at in the green, it'll always go back down to even. And if you hit a really, really bad shot, and you're kind of sort of in the green, then yeah, it'll end up going back to the red, so... Yeah, be careful for that. Yeah, that's the, that is going to be the by far the easiest chip shot in this entire game. Because that green is fly as a pancake. Okay. Yeah, flattest screen in the entire game. Like even on my last on my last run, I actually had almost the same chip shot, and I actually made that one too. That's how easy it is. Like it's a guarantee win. Alright, here's the dealio on this 478 yard par 5. The water on the left ain't no public pool, so don't be thinking about swimming in it. There's algae and stanky, slimy things in there, so keep it to the right. Oh, and if your cat is thirsty, don't let him drinking from it. Even if they are from Mexico, Fresh Fruit had his stomach pumped twice. Brother can keep score, but he's a dumbass. <laughs> El Suave is up at the tee. Okay, and, uh, yeah, and if, on the composure thing, if you, uh, yeah, the, if you hit, if you continue to hit bad shots, like, if you hit consecutively bad shots, then it'll keep going into the red and keep going down until you're, like, like, almost completely in the gutter, and, yeah, you don't want to do that. Um, 
I remember the first time I played this game, I couldn't get any, I couldn't get any better than a par. Uh, like the very first run I did of this game, I did, or like, well not, not the first run per se, but like the very first time I played this game, I had a really a hard time with it, it and it really pissed me off too. I'll admit it. Um, I had the same frustrations that a lot of people did, but. Rudy, that's gonna make you feel good about your golf game. But when I, second shot. Uh, like I said, when I learned to play the game and get good at it, when practice and all that stuff, I got pretty good at it. I say, I would say, to the point where I got mad a lot less. And you know, I'm a very, I get really frustrated really easily. I think, uh, like if I miss like a, if I like miss a, you know, a relatively easy putt. I mean, I won't blow, I won't destroy stuff, but it will, I won't be very happy about it either. Uh, yeah, baby, nice you know, I try to just say whatever, move on, but, um, yeah, and this hole is gonna be, this hole's really challenge has probably one of the more challenging greens in this game, because of that severe undulation, you can't even, nope, yeah, I'm probably gonna miss this one, but yeah, there's a pretty severe undulation, and it's kinda hard to even get, to get it just right. See, 39% of, um, I believe it's, I think it's 60 feet or something like that. Uh, yeah. I want to hit a little bit more than 40, uh, yeah, and then I miss, of course. And I guess I will take all the gimmies, because I am cheap like that. Yeah, exactly, Suave. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the next intro here. Okay. Ew, I don't like that water hazard on the left. I am so not into anything that's Aquarius. Good thing this hole is only a 347 yard par 4. It sure looks easy from up here, but it's probably not so easy. Unless Jupiter happens to be aligned with Uranus. <laughs> well, already then, Summer. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. And yes, I didn't mean boat. No, but uh. Just got its dimples kicked. Oh, I didn't show off a certain some a certain something. I I probably will show it off once I get back to even though. Yeah, yeah probably once I get back to even, I'll probably show it off. But and uh, speaking of the commentator, yeah, real. Real good transition there, I'll tell you. Let me tell you about it. Uh, if you couldn't figure it out, uh, yeah, turns out that the uh, the commentator for this game is none other than dun 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 Steve Carell. Yes, yes, it's Steve Carell. Forty-year-old virgin, Evan Almighty, Bruce Almighty. The Office. Uh, Dinner for Schmucks. You know, whatever movie you want to go by. Uh, I think this is probably before he got really famous, though. We're here at the seventh. You know these bloody groundskeepers really deserve whatever they get. You are looking at 496 yards of evenly groomed grass. Look at the lines. They're perfect. Just perfect. Straight and even, mate. Unbelievable. Are you looking at them? Hey, are you not looking at them? Don't make me pound the bloody spit out of you. Look at them. Look. Look. Okay. And, uh... Oh yeah, Steve Carell. Uh, I think it was before he got really, really famous, though. Because uh, this game came out in 2002, so that was before um, Bruce Almighty. Yeah, before Bruce Almighty. I mean, I didn't know him until like... Yeah, I didn't know him until after um, I saw Bruce Almighty, you know, so... Yeah. Pretty interesting fun fact there. 
<clears throat> In fact, I think it's the I think it's the I think it's the fun fact of the game, honestly. Because this game was I I like to consider this game complete very 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 underrated. Uh, probably a, something I don't know, maybe something of a cult classic. I don't know. Um, then again, I kind of dare say that, but you know, like. Because I tend to be a really big fan for, like, cult classic stuff for some reason, which is kind of weird, but... Or, you know, cult popular stuff, you know. El Suave is shooting for an attempt at birdie. Okay. Yeah, and I'll explain, uh, how, how I adjust the power for percentages, like... Like where 30% would be, where 50% would be, where, you know, 90% would be, you know. I'll explain that shortly. Because I think that's, I think that's part of having the putting down to Even though nobody likes science. And I skipped the intro. Dang it, I hate it when I do that. Okay, so... This is one of the most annoying greens in the entire game, I will tell you right now. Wow, that ball really and you will find out why. And now. Yeah! That ball was 20 yards short of the pin when it landed at least 20 yards short, and it still went 15 yards over. Okay, so we're back at even, so I will show you what I um, was wanting to show you. Uh, just press the white button, and yes, we are going to be using our beating tokens here. And just to show off how this works, I'll put this right there for a second. And, and now I'll also explain it too, because it's probably easier, it's actually easier to explain it. You basically hit the, the beat target, and you keep hitting it until, you know, until you miss or until you can't do it anymore. See, like that. Yeah, they pretty much beat the freaking piss out of the caddies. Now that was about as brutal a beating as I could imagine. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and you have, uh, five beat targets to hit, and if you hit all five of them, yeah, you'll be right back in the zone, as you saw right there. And if you miss, you won't do anything to your, uh, your composure whatsoever. In fact, you might even, well, no, I, I wouldn't say you go down, because, I don't, I haven't had that happen to me, but. To prove that dumb luck beats out real skill with a par. But yeah, you'll, you'll continually improve. On uh, on composure, the more times you hit the big target, basically. Okay, so we are five under after eight, which is all right, I guess. But but as you will find out much later in this game, that five on like that a score like that is not even good enough. You have to be like, you have to be like really on your A game. And I skipped the intro again. Oh my gosh, I need to stop that. Yeah, my last round, like I said, was like 30 minutes. This has only been, this is only 23, so we're doing much, much better this time. Uh, without having to explain all the, the exhibition stuff. Second shot. Okay, so, I'm gonna put some backspin there, and fire away. Fire away, assholes. And that's gonna go over. I keep forgetting, because the, the wood, I don't know why, but... The uh, <laughs> wood. <laughs> he said wood. Okay, sorry. Well, looks like this golfer is human. After no, uh, if you don't hit, if you hit it with a uh, with a wooden club, with a wood, or you know a uh, a fairway driver or something like that. I can't remember the term for it. Fairway wood. Sorry, fairway wood. Uh, well, I don't know. Anyway, uh. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about that reference, uh, but uh, yeah, if you hit it with that, the ball will most will not stop, almost no matter what you do to it. To avoid blowing. There you go. 
Dang it. I'll probably have to show it off in the next video, but, uh... Yeah, I keep forgetting to show y'all the percentages yeah. and stuff, so... Yep, we're five, uh, five under after nine. And... You have completed the front nine of this event. Do you want to continue on the back nine, or do you... Or suspend your game and finish later? So they give you this option if you don't... If you manage to run out of time, um... You know, for whatever reason. My case, it's just so we can start off the next part and finish this uh, event. And, uh, because, you know, I think 25 minutes is a lot, so. Yeah. So I'll see you guys at the next part. So, bye bye.